Hi Ross Developers and welcome to this new video Q&A section. So in this video I'm going to try to answer or give a, a solution to a question posted here in Gazebo Answers by this user that states basically that when he or she puts a, a model, an SDF model, in a world file it works but when it tries to when he or she tries to spawn it um, through the commands, it doesn't work. It gives this strange error. I couldn't reproduce this error, but what I'm going to show you is how to do exactly this in a structured way and uh, easy way of doing it. So basically what you're going to learn is the following using ROS Development Studio, but you can do it whatever you want and you can do it in your local computer, you launch an empty simulation, so nothing in it, just the, the sun and a ground, that's it. As I said, you can do exactly the same thing locally, you just have to launch the, this, this launch and it will launch gazebo and the world Okay, so once you have an empty simulation, you just have to go and launch the spawning. So, um, pillow issue, and then spawn pillow. And there we go. So we have the model of a pillow spawned and this model of a pillow is an SDF file model okay without any errors in the in gazebo okay so if you're interested in this continue with this video so before anything else if you want to learn about ROS the construct uh, YouTube channel is your channel you can learn Loads of topics ROS related like ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS AI, anything related with ROS you can find it here. So check it out please. And if you have any questions about the topics that we are talking about, um, please consider checking out the courses in Roboting Night Academy where you can learn ROS related topics from basic levels to more advanced topics uh, without any installation, just a browser. So please check it out. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you that all the code that we're going to talk about, I'm going to post it here. So in, in this git, you can, uh, you can download it without any problems. So if you have any questions or any doubts, just download this and you'll have all the code. Yeah. And for the models, uh, I've downloaded from BlendSwap uh, this models of pillows. Uh, just because in the question, uh, the user didn't uh, give us the model. So I, I got this die model from there. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. So let's get started on how to build this. So we're going to remove this. And the first thing is we're going to create a, a package, a new package. So, I mean, uh, if it's in local computer, you just go to your workspace, Catkin workspace or whatever workspace you have. In this case, because we are in uh, uh, ROSDS, we have three different workspace. And normally the good thing is put it in the simulations workspace so that you can access later and launch the, the world launches, let's say, through this menus, which is much more convenient. Yeah. So let's go to source. And in here we have already the package made and I'm going to show you step by step how to build it. So we're going to can create a package this package we're going to call it my pillow issue for example to be original and we're going to put 
the basic dependencies I normally put ROS by just because I normally use ROS with Python and then we have to put one dependency which is vital so if you go here you see that basically we have two dependencies which is ROS by and Gazebo ROS it's very important that you put Gazebo ROS otherwise this won't work as far as I, I have tested it, it doesn't work properly sometimes so just put gazebo ROS when you're going to use gazebo and ROS combined yeah basically for this because this states where to find the plugins that you might generate and in our case this is the important part which is the models where uh, ROS can find the models where gazebo can find the models not ROS but gazebo so in this case we are saying that hey look in this package for a folder named models and inside there you can find all the models yeah this will allow you to for example in the um, gazebo client that you can add them by drag and drop this enables that so you can drag and drop any model that you have in this models uh, folder yeah so this is really important. So the two dependencies that we have to state is ROS by. This is not compulsory, but if you want to use ROS, then ROS or ROS CPP. And this one is very important. Yeah. Okay. So we have the package already made. There we go. So next step, we don't need this. And we are basically now going to copy the CMake list to make it a bit more simpler because this one is the one that I've created which is much simpler than the one that by default is made you just have to be careful because now you have to change the name of the package so in this case is my pillow issue so let's replace everything here is only one okay and that's it they have the same dependencies and also the definitions for C++ 11 yeah this is really important yeah okay and also the link di directories for example the gazebo library directories and so on and include directories yeah okay we have it so now we let's compile just to test that everything went okay okay perfect so let's continue so the next step is we can close the cmake list we don't need them anymore and now we're going to copy the, the package again we don't need all this stuff we can remove it and also we can remove this yep. okay and if we go here you can see that we stated the exports we don't need the the plugins but I leave it here just for other people that might want to continue this package to create th their own plugins yeah okay so basically we have let's check that yeah more or less just yeah. okay so basically we have more or less what we wanted my pillow issue and some dependencies it just added some build exports and basically it stated the format to yeah it's not I mean if you want to put it in the in that format I I'll just put it in the, like the format one just because that way you have it Oops, sorry we have it in format one yeah so now we have this let's compile again
okay so this is not important but I prefer to have just the normal version and not the version 2 just to be coherent which with the material that there is around the internet okay so once we have it then let's do the next so let's create a folder launch in this launch we are going to put this three launches that we are going to talk about now so the first one is the start world which launches the empty world launch and gives the world and verbose true because I like to see the errors otherwise you won't see any errors that gazebo might give you so it's good to have it here and so we are going to copy also the the world folder Oops. okay copy this here there you go delete yeah. okay so we have this and we have to change the package so it's from pillow issue simple world verbose okay fantastic we have the start world so now if we go here and we launch you see that we can get this so start test world as i said locally you would do the same thing but killing gazebo and launching it again here is more convenient okay so we have this perfect now we have the packages made now it's time to put the models and the spawns okay so uh, we need these two launches the first one is uh, sorry the the spawn pillow which is we go to my pillow issue replace all there you go and we launch the spawn SDF which we're going to talk about right now which is basically this code which launches through the gazebo ROS um, an SDF that you give it with the name that you give it that's it if you have any doubts we have there's a course in Road Ignite Academy where we talk about this in depth okay so we give it and we give it the model so let's copy the models I'm going to copy minus r pillow issue just to go faster models pillow to my pillow models there we go so now we have pillow so what I'm going to do is just change the name to my pillow just to be sure that it's not the same one okay I'm going to copy because I'm going to change some stuff so the name is my pillow and SDF the name is my pillow also the name of the model so here my pillow and my pillow and we're going to talk about uh, a bit here so basically what I changed is I removed I made static zero which means that it's, it's not static it's a model that's running around there and you can interact easily like any other physical object and then I put pose in each of the inertial collision and visual just to allow some displacement and then here in the original version it was used a box I used directly the mesh just because it's more precise then what we are going to do is we're going to change the the scale just to be sure to demonstrate that for example let's put 05 uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 to demonstrate that it's not the same one as the other one just to be sure that it's working okay so we have this then if we go to the launch file and we spawn the pillow we have here models and then my pillow I changed already so now we we launch it yeah let's get 
here. Let's first relaunch the simulation. Okay, once we have it, let's launch the pillow. Okay, and there we go. So as you can see, here's another pillow. This one is totally deformed, but there you have it. So we have spawned a custom mesh in SDF in Gazebo, yeah, through the ROS launch uh, infrastructure. Yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Please leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And we publish videos every day, so please have a look at our channel regularly. And that's it. Thank you and see you in the next video. Hasta la próxima.